Aaron Sadler is a good athlete. Yeah. And he was like... Oh, he's the lightest guy ever at World's Strongest Man, I believe. I think he still holds that. Mm -hmm. uh, I think he was... I might be making this up. I think he was like 110 kilos mm -hmm. at World's Strongest Man. I remember is, when he was 110. Aye. He was 110. Like, he, if anybody doesn't know who Darren Sadler is, he's this sort of... He's short for a strong man. The pocket rocket. The uh, unbelievable power. And yeah. I remember he had to wear the big platform boots because... These they are giants, and he's a normal sized dude. Yeah. Well, yeah. normal height dude. I mean, yeah. he was massive, yeah. like he was huge, yeah. huge, hugely strong, yeah. muscular. Looked more like a bodybuilder and a strong man, Aye. and could shift. And I remember seeing him. He had to put the big boots on so that he could reach up to put the the Atlas stones in the plinth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, and I just I remember you know I remember watching him just thinking, what I mean, just Fair talk play. talk about the yeah. David among amongst uh, Goliaths. Yeah, yeah. And putting it out, it was like good on you, go Aye. on, son. Like, Giant yes. killer, yeah. Like, uh, he held the record on Conan's wheel until what, last year. Are they? Yeah, which you wouldn't think as well because it's usually the kind of taller guys do well at it. Mm -hmm. But he did it. Yeah, it's <laughs> the show. Superhuman. Deadlifted four hundred kilos. You know, That's incredible. Which like the the height's one thing, but that body weight because mm -hmm. weight does move weight. Mm -hmm. You know, you look at all the the biggest deadlifts that have been done. Like Eddie's five hundred and Thor's five hundred one. Like they they were two hundred kilos both of them. Mm -hmm. Like pulling pulling four hundred at one ten, like especially back then as well when it's it's becoming more normal, and that when you see it's possible, that more and more folk achieve it. Obviously, but back back when he pulled four hundred, like it wasn't far off the world record on the deadlift, you know, and he was one hundred and ten kilos. And, yeah, yeah, crazy. Who uh, whose lift was more impressive? Out of Eddie's or Thor's, Eddie's. Uh, yeah, like I, I I certainly don't have any sort of kind of favourites between the two of them but looking at the the facts of what they both did because Eddie put 36 kilos I think on the world deadlift record at that yeah. point and it was it would only ever got by one kilo a year and even then it was it was ambitious to expect someone to be able mm -hmm. to break the record every year and then he stepped up and was like I'm going for 500 nobody believed or very few believed they could do it mm -hmm. and he did it, it was crazy I've watched some of his interviews and I, like uh I think Eddie gets a bit of a bad rap because a lot of people think he's a bit immature and a bit childish and a bit impish. Yeah, maybe some of the stuff that he does. So I, I don't think they, I don't think they see the steeliness in terms of his like the, his determination. He's another one that I thought you you're really good at visualizing things. Yeah, the, the depths that he went. To, I think he went to a hypnotist as well. Yeah, he says he yeah. went to to hypnotize yeah. uh, like. I don't know. He met. I, I don't know exactly the details, but I remember saying something about like he was, you know, if his kids were in danger or his family were in yeah. danger, like he was going to dark places yeah. to get himself ready to go and, you know, lift this weight. Mm. Uh, I think that's it's something a lot of folk do, and I, I do myself as well, actually. Like visualize almost kind of bad things or think mm. things that would get your adrenaline spiked, mm -hmm. get you into the fight or flight mode, because it really does help when you're going for a max lift. Mm -hmm. And what it does is maybe going off on a tangent here, but it, Go for it. It, sw <laughs> it, it switches off any sort of doubt in your mind of like, when you're going for a really big like, one rep, as Eddie did with the 500, you can't have it in your head of, oh, my hamstring's a bit tight. Like, Because as soon as you start thinking about that, you're going to protect your hamstring and you're not going to be able to lift it. Like, You need to go into it with reckless abandon. Mm. Uh, and you can only do that when you're not thinking about any anything else other than just being just that lift just hyped up and it's like I'm going to put absolutely everything into this mm -hmm. at any cost and that's what getting hyped up does and Eddie took it to the next level obviously with these experiments I'd say with like going to a hypnotist and mm -hmm. obviously it worked for him I like it you know if um, I've been lucky enough to meet some like incredible people like real yeah. the, the, the top cream of the crop and they're the thing that's universal would be whether it depend what industry they're in, they all share commonality and the thing that they have in common, Connor, is they will go like they will hit up on their like perceived glass ceiling. Yeah. And they will poke around that and look for the edge. They will find a way through it. Yeah. And they're looking at anything. Breathing techniques, ice baths, uh, massages, hypnotherapy, self help books. They will do what it takes. Yeah. They're like they don't. They don't have it in their mind that this is glass ceiling. They, yeah. they have it in their mind. How do I get through this glass ceiling? Yeah. And they'll go looking through the whole. Like, what's the tools? I'll try them all. Aye. They're prepared to go there, and there's other people who go, and oh, no, that's a glass ceiling. Yeah. And it's that difference of 
Um, where are you at? What, what side are you at? Is it? No, I'm, I'm I'm looking beyond this, or is it the no, no? That's that's where you should be. Mm. And it's that sort of thing that you can see in people where you go. That's the difference between the really really good and the exceptional. Yeah, they have that. We will find a way through this. Aye. Just like Eddie was like, hey, look, visualizing that stuff, going to the dark place, the hypnotist. Like, just found a way to do it. 